another review with your friend Frank here with FS Media. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very special light from LED Go. It is the portable LED Go style of light. I can say it's special because I've never seen something like this. Each of the bulbs on this LED panel, they come inside a honeycomb grid style like uh, system. Basically what they have done is that they put the bulbs inside and then the honeycomb uh, uh, system of, of style of uh, enclosure spread the light even uh, farther away than without that system. Thus giving you more power, better reach of the light using a very low voltage. Let's take a look at this light. As you see, this is the LG B560C LED light. It is a bicolor LED light. It comes in a very small factor and it offers you a 100% of dimmer. It goes from 1% all the way to 100%, which is really good. It comes with a bunch of accessories. Here is the box. It, has, it's a, it is a very simple box. And uh, let's open it. Let's see what is inside right now. Okay. Here we have a Y box, nothing fancy to it. And what we're gonna do now is that I'm gonna open the box. I'm gonna open it this way so you can see how everything comes. Inside here comes with another bag, a travel case bag from LED Go. I think it's gonna handle a lot of use and abuse. And uh, in here we got the zipper for the for the bag and let's open it right now and when we open the bag we find a lot of different accessories and let's take a look at everything that is in here first in the back here in this uh, part of the bag in the top it comes with the manual it tells you everything about the very simple stuff for you to read and also comes with two diffusers it looks like it comes with a soft diffuser and it also comes with a blue add diffuser which is really nice it is not um, a tungsten diffuser because the light is bicolor so let me put this here aside okay now that i have opened the bag I want to show you everything. I already took the plastic of some of these things. Here we got a cable that goes for the power. It's very long. It's about five meter, which is really, really good. Then we have the power break for the light. And this is the tip that connects into the light. And then we have these little things. And this, at the beginning, I didn't know what was them for, but it's a very neat trick that they offer to you. People like me that we used to have a lot of different uh, AA rechargeable batteries. Basically what you can do here is that you can use, open this, let's see how I open it. You can put six batteries in here. You can put six batteries in there on each of them so you will have 18 batteries to power this light for hours. This is really nice. Okay, let me put that there. And in here, we have the handle. Yes, it comes also with a handle, just like almost all other LED go by a light. It comes with an adapter, 5.8 adapter in here for your light stand or sys stand. It fits on a system. And you have the two uh, uh, locking mechanism here on this part for you to put it on the light. So I'm gonna put this on the side. And here is the light. Okay, as you see, the bag is really nice. It comes with this nice pocket here. So let me put this aside and let's focus on the light itself. This is the light, let's open it. Beautiful, really, really nice. This is awesome. This light is not heavy, it's very lightweight and the construction of everything is amazing. Here on the top, on the back part, we have all of the parts that we need to pay attention at the moment of working. And let me zoom in in here so you can take a look at this, every single part of this light. 
Okay guys, now that I have the light here, I'm gonna start with the back. This is a very interesting back because for this small light, it offers you three adapters for you to put MPF style Sony batteries. Also, remember that you have three different ways for you to power this light. The very first one is using just the regular MPF batteries from Sony. And you can use different sizes. You can use a 750, a 950, a 550. The other one is, like I showed you before, is using these adapters that allows you for you to use those double A batteries. It will use 18 batteries. And you can put it in here very easily. Let me see what is my side here. You come and just push it and you have your light in there. That's very simple and very handy. Me personally, I prefer to have the MPF Sony battery. Now, the third option is for you to use the main power. At the top here, you're gonna find that you have these three battery style with a test button. And that is for you to be able to check the remaining power on your battery, on each of them individually. On the top here, this blue knob, this is the two in one knob that allows you for you to dim each color individually basically the bottom one is the daylight color and the top one is the tungsten so basically if we bring the light to 100 percent on each of them you're going to get the most power but if you turn just the top one you're going to be bringing just the tungsten line down or up the dimming of the tungsten light and if you move just the bottom part the bigger knob you're gonna be dimming just the daylight. But the good thing about this is that you have a, lot, a, a huge range of possibility for you to combine this color. You can work it individually and you can mix and match any color that you want. On the top here, you're gonna find this knot and this allows you for you to release or to tie this shoes adapter. And the reason for this is because you can combine several of these light together. Turning the light around, here is the magic of this light. As you see, I don't have any of the diffuser. The light comes with several diffuser, and this is the main one. It's basically a very soft diffusing panel, and you put it, or you use it just by applying force to it, and it goes into it. Now, if you don't want to use it, and you need the most power of this light, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna use it like this. And this is what it makes this light very different. As you see here, you have this Honeycrisp style array of LED. Each LED light is recessed from the top of this Honeycomb style system. This is just a 560 pieces LED combined between daylight and tungsten, and it gives you the punch of about 500 watts of incandescent light. For the diffuser, as I said before, they give you this di different diffuser. This is the less diffuse one, and this is the most diffuse one. Because the light is so intense, and maybe you don't want to use a, another diffuser material in front of a MacBook or a softbox, then you can use this, and you're going to get a really good light. Each of these lights are individually color calibrated to the exact specifications. The daylight, which it cannot be called daylight because in reality they are uh, calibrated to 7500K and that is amazing. 7500K is basically blue on the Kelvin scale and the bottom portion of the light is the 32 Kelvin which is tungsten. It's really nice. I will suggest to the people from LDD Go to put a little screen maybe here in the middle or something like that that will tell you specifically the amount of light that you're getting for tungsten and also for the daylight balance. Before I show you how you put these two lights together, I'm gonna show you how you can mount this adapter, which is the handle. It's a very easy, uh, simple process. Basically what you're gonna do is that you're gonna lose these parts here for you to have more space in between, and you're just gonna match the spaces between one and the other one. And it goes in only one size, one side is wider than the other one, so you're not gonna get confused. And after you have that, you tie this, and you tie the center one. Let me push it, there you go. 
and now you have a, a, a now you have a really nice handle for your light. The good thing about this handle is, as you see, is kind of rubberized here, but inside you have a coil that allows you for you to twist your light in any direction. So if you don't have a boom stand or you don't have a C stand, you just have a regular stand, you can direct this light in several different ways, which is really, really nice and very handy because a lot of people they don't have C stand and they don't have a boom stand. So this will uh, direct your light in the way that you want it to be focused on. So let me take this out now. Okay, very simple to use. And now I have my other light here. And how do you work with this system? Well, as you see here, at the bottom of this light, you got a specific light style. At the bottom of this one, we got these two main uh, adapters, which are good for that other adapter in there. And at the top, we have this knob. So. And when they are uh, already open, what you're going to do is that you're going to adapt the light. Now, I have one single problem here, and is that sometimes these little shoes on top of here, they cannot get loose. But hey, you just need to be paying attention to what you're doing so you will not lose it. Then you put one light on top of the other one, and you go, you push down, and now you close it. Very simple. Now you don't have one light. Now you have 1,200 something LED light on this little package. It is a bit bigger than a one by one, but it's awesome. It's very lightweight. You can put it even on those really uh, travel stand, two of these. And remember, you can combine more of this light here on the side, you can put two more light and get a really big and powerful light. Okay, as you might remember, a, a, a few months ago, a couple of months ago, we reviewed the LED Go uh, Fresnel light. And on that light, I received also this Wi-Fi adapter. So basically, this adapter allows you for you to work with the LED Go remote control, which I don't use it, or using the LED Go application on your phone. And these lights come with this Wi-Fi connection integrated into the light. So basically, what you can do is that you can put one, two, three, four, five of this light in one channel connected to your Wi-Fi. And from your cell phone, you can control not only the dimming capability of this light, but also you can control the color range of your light, which is crazy amazing. Well guys, this is the end of this quick overview of this amazing LED Go portable panels. I am very satisfied with the quality and the build of this unit. And I'm going to be doing another test where I'm going to be testing the quality of the light compared to other units from LED Go. And I'm also going to show you how this light can work for you for photography, either in product shots and also for headshot photography and also for simple small interviews with three-point lighting style. Guys, until next time, my name is Frank. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if not, hey, you know what to do. Also, please consider subscribing to our channel. Any comments, please leave it below. And all of the information on how to get this light is listed on the information down.